I was trans for nine years and then decided to detransition. And my biggest regret is having breast renal surgery because I was way too young. I was raised in a very conservative area with very strict definitions on what it meant to be a man or a woman. Um, and I always saw women as very weak, uh, submissive people. Uh, not in like a conscious way, more of like a subconscious um, thought on uh, what women should and shouldn't do and just very much look down on women as a whole because I saw how much more respect men were getting. You know, I hated women, unfortunately. I hated myself for being a woman. I was about 17-ish when I decided, well, not really decided to change my gender, just kind of started questioning. But I wasn't really sure if that's what I wanted, but then I met a bunch of older people um, who were like 30 plus, who were like, I was explaining how I was feeling, and they were like, oh, you're transgender, you're a man. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, I didn't have a community, I didn't have a family. Um, and that's when I found these older um, adult trans people and they kind of made me feel like I had a family again, like a sense of community. Um, and that's really why they had so much influence. So when I started hormones, um, I was taking injections and a gel. Um, and the gel you rub in the armpit twice a day and the injection is once every two weeks. That's how I started. Um, and I started having issues mostly with uh, my genitalia. Um, I had a lot of atrophy um, and swelling and, you know, having trouble going to the bathroom. And I developed rashes um, and I would get these giant lumps under my skin uh, when I would do my injections. And um, even now, years after, I mean, I haven't been on hormones in like five years at this point, almost six years. And I still have a lot of atrophy and issues with the bathroom. And when I had surgery, when I, my breast removal, um, I ended up getting a hematoma, which is uh, blood pooling under the skin. So I had to have a second minor surgery to drain the fluid and I had nipple grafts. Um, so they took my original areola nipple and downsized it and stitched it back on. Um, and one of them is deformed basically. Uh, there's a lot of scar tissue underneath it. Um, and the coloring of them is very different from typical. I had no idea about any of the side effects. Uh, no one, my doctor, my therapist, my surgeon, um, no one explained any of the long-term side effects of transitioning. Um, I knew that testosterone would deepen my voice and give me facial hair, but that was about all I knew. I didn't know about the risk of fertility or the um, genital changes or issues with the bathroom or um, the bone issues. And I do want to have children and the fact that I can no longer breastfeed um, is a huge sense of regret that I have. So I experienced uh, post-surgical depression, um, which is when I had a lot of regret immediately after surgery about what I did. Um, I started self-harming again, which I hadn't done in many years. And in 2020, right before, like a year before I decided to detransition, um, I tried to kill myself um, and was almost successful. I put myself in a coma for four days. Um, taking pills and 
after I woke up from the coma was when I kind of accepted that something had to change. But if you say you want to detransition and reverse some of those changes, um, you they won't cover any of it. You have to pay out of pocket. Getting like laser hair removal, which is very expensive and not covered by insurance. Um, but hair removal to have gender affirming surgery is covered by insurance. Um, breast removal is covered by insurance, but breast reconstruction is not covered by insurance. Like you can get all of these transition related costs covered by insurance and you know, the doctors will judge you and kind of not give you any information and you know, they make it seem like it's just impossible. You know, I had one therapist who stopped seeing me um, after I told her I wanted to detransition. She just, we had one session and next thing I know, I called to make the appointment and they said my case had been closed um, and she wouldn't see me anymore. It's pretty easy to get surgery and testosterone. Um, even with trans women, estrogen pills, like it's, it's pretty easy. Now you can literally just walk into any doctor's office in pretty much any big city and walk out with hormones that same day um, without any real education. They give you a piece of paper that says all of the potential side effects and benefits um, and just tell you to sign it. Most people don't even read it. Puberty blockers that they use when you start puberty, which is anywhere from nine to 12. Um, for a breast removal surgery, you can be as young as 13. I mean, Lupron is the main puberty blocker that's given. Um, and Lupron is also the medication given to chemically castrate sex offenders. Um, and, you know, they were sued in the early 2000s for being a criminal enterprise and rebranded as a medication for transgender children as a puberty blocker. It's so unethical when you have literal children, teenagers, making these decisions because it's not the teenagers making it on their own. It's the adult influencers, you know, telling them what they should and should not feel. You know, I know one person comes to mind who at two years old, they were saying that they were a girl and their mother was like, okay, fine, you're a girl and socially transitioned them. And now they're a preteen and they're on puberty blockers. And their other sibling also came out as trans a few years after that. It's like the kid is not really, I mean, I know five-year-olds that think they're dinosaurs, you know what I mean? So sitting there, it's like one day you're a dinosaur, the next day you're a boy, and adults take it so seriously um, that they end up changing these aspects of their children um, that will have lifelong repercussions. Like kids be kids, you know? Kids don't need to worry about their gender or their future in that way. Um, just let them live their life and stop pushing an agenda on them about affirm, 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 you know, just let them live.